The biggest question that any playground owner should have is how do I keep my playground safe? Unfortunately, there's a growing trend of playground injuries that happen on commercial playgrounds. Each year, there's about 200,000 injuries reported, meaning that a child had to visit an emergency room. Of those 200,000 plus injuries that take place, there's 20 deaths that occur. Over 75% are from falls to an unsafe surface. Owners of playground equipment are required to inspect their playgrounds as often as needed. For some that may be daily, others it may be weekly or monthly, but it's important that they not only look at the playground equipment but also test and inspect their surfaces. There are tens of thousands of commercial playgrounds in the country and unfortunately very few of those have even been tested to know if the playground surfaces are safe or not. As man managers of public spaces we're always looking to uh, find new ways to keep our playground safer. It's very important that uh, we uh, do continual uh, monitoring, inspections, and testing of our uh, playgrounds throughout the life of the equipment and the surfacing. And so if we had uh, the better ability to be able to do inspections and testing on a regular basis uh, without going out and having to hire uh, somebody to come in, I think we would do a better job. A few years ago I was sitting in a class watching a device testing some safety surfacing. As I sat there I just wondered why do we not have these readily available? Any playground owner should have access to these but they've been extremely expensive and uh, difficult to use. So I initially thought that we might be able to use a cell phone knowing that there's accelerometers in cell phones. I realized that just that wasn't uh, uh, wasn't technical enough for what we needed. Well there's several things about the free fall that makes it unique. First of all we use six accelerometers instead of the usual three. And we do this in order that we can compare all six signals to make the most accurate reading. It's handheld, <clears throat> so there's no tripod needed. And it's battery operated, so there's no wires that you need to have when you're dropping it. You just do the drops and the data will show up on the laptop. As I take my kids to a park, as do any of us as parents, we expect that the playground's gonna be safe. And that should be what all of us as parents expect. We've uh, been able to bring and develop something to the market that's readily available, cost effective, for every single playground owner to have to test their surfaces to make sure that they're safe for our kids. I saw a need in playground safety. This device is what our industry has been waiting for, the free fall.